Good morning everybody, my name is James Cagle. Today we're going to make a video using the Packet Chaser from the Cisco Routing Academy. Uh, today we are exploring a, uh, a, a network that's already been designed by somebody and today we're going to add an ISR to it, which is an integrated service router. And we also need to discover what interfaces we need to place within the individual routers or, or PCs or whatever is appropriate and uh, what kind of cables are needed. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up router 0. And, and of course, anytime we go to add anything or check anything, we have to shut it off. And we're going to go over here and we're going to find different things of what we might be able to use. Um, you can click through these. They're, they're different deals. I think that uh, the appropriate one here would be the 241. So we're going to go ahead and add that. Okay, we are going to turn it, then turn it back on. And then we're going to go to the config. Oh, it's still booting. now we're going to go we're going to turn on the different interfaces we're going to make sure that they are all turned on okay and we're going to come over here and what you do to one router you almost got to do to do to the rest. Okay, well, not really, but shut it off. Now, since we put a two port on the other deal, you pretty much have to put a, a, a two port on this one as well. So, you kind of click through them, see which one's appropriate. Up, oh, two port asynchronous, synchronous. You know, so, we're going to go ahead and put that in there. And then we also need some fast Ethernet connectors. We have to be able to hook up the the access point as well as the PCs and you know going through these different deals I, I think that uh, <coughs> this one because it gives you the different ports I, I believe is going to be the best one different fast Ethernet ports we're going to go over here we're going to turn it back on we're going to wait for it to boot try to too soon Okay. Again, we're going to turn on all the different ports. If you don't turn these ports on, boy, you're going to find yourself in a whole heap of trouble. It's going to take you forever to figure out what it is you did wrong. And you definitely got to turn on the serial interfaces because it's how you connect the routers together. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find the appropriate cables. Alright, you got the, the coaxial cable, the serial DCE, and the serial DTE. We're going to hook that up there, and we're going to hook that up to there, and then we're going to connect the PCs to the router. So that we're going to use the, uh, the cable straight through, the coaxial. You notice how we're connecting, we're getting some green lights and everything is starting to work. Here we're going to, bam, port zero. We'll go ahead and speed this up for time's sake. And Ah, there we go. So now we have all connectivity. So we're able to, to determine what uh, physical networking devices we were able to add into this. We added, get it. We put in the uh, integrated service router, 1841 Cisco router. We added some physical devices and we added the different cables that were needed to do it. Uh, thank you for watching my video. I hope you have a great day.